Welcome to The Change Lead, the podcast providing leaders with the insight needed to get things done in a rapidly changing and complex world. Subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss an episode. Connect with our community of like-minded leaders on our website, thechangelead.com. Welcome to The Change Lead with your host, Babatope Ipiyumi. Today's guest is Ivan Rinka. Ivan is Executive Director of Project Management at Ministry of Citizen Services in British Columbia, Canada. Ivan is an accomplished speaker and instructor. He recently published the LinkedIn article titled, Project Managers, Our Brand is Broken. So, is the project management brand broken? Does project management have a branding problem? In this episode, Ivan and I have a conversation about the brand of project managers. Hi, Ivan. Thank you very much for joining me today. Really looking forward to today's conversation and welcome to the show. It's my pleasure, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really good. It's always a pleasure to speak to fellow change practitioners, actually. Um, so I think for today's conversation, I think it would be good to start with what really triggered this conversation. It'd be good to start the, the, the episode with that. And it started with a, a, an article you published on LinkedIn. I think you titled mm-hmm. it project managers, our brand is broken. Now, first of all, that's a very catchy title. <laughs> it's Thank something that got the attention. Um, but beyond the title, you provided some very good insights in the contents of that article, which is why so we have to bring you onto the show. So to start with, it'd be good to, can you just share a little bit about the article? Um, what were you trying to convey? What do you want people to learn from mm-hmm. From from saying that project managers are brand is broken. Yeah, it is. It actually came out of a personal experience, and uh, what happened is that I was approached by a an executive search firm who was trying to set up a posting for a an strategic uh, position within an organization, basically a CIO, and they wanted to understand what is the role of a PM. Um, in in a in in a in a position like this, right, like a CIO. So I gave them some pointers as to you know, how the the job description should be written and so on. And um, off we go. A few weeks later, I asked them back, like, okay, what happened, right? So how was how was the process? And uh, their answer was really um, a shock to me because they told me that um, its uh, client wasn't too happy because too many people applied to that position being project managers. And I was like, um, what is that? Why is that shocking? They told me, oh, no, because we they wanted a more strategic position. And, um, and yeah, no, project management is not a strategic uh, role within an organization. So it was kind of, whoa, okay, so something is wrong here because maybe we're not speaking the same language. <laughs> So I kind of started going back to my own personal career and I asked myself, okay, what what I am, what am I if I am a project manager? Am I just one person who knows how to draw and charts and you know, manage uh, you know, people in a, in a project team? Or am I someone who's actually able to provide a strategic direction to organizations uh, based on the fact that projects are transformational in nature? And, um, and my own, my own bias is that we're the latter and not the earlier. We are people, especially if you are an experienced PM, that can actually trigger and drive strategic change. But the reality is that the market out there actually still see us or see us as um, people that can actually draw gun charts and you know, uh, have uh, control over a budget in a project and so on and so forth, right? So. I kind of went back and forth and said, like, okay, what is really wrong? And and then that's when I came back with the title of the of the of the article. It's like, well, actually the problem is that our brand is broken because people still see us, project managers, as these technical people who know how to manage a project, and that's it. When we have really have gone way out that field many years ago, which is not to say that we're not still technical, but we're really becoming more and more strategic in nature, but the market doesn't see that, doesn't understand that. So that's that was the background of my of my, of my short piece. And um, yeah, it was self-reflection 
um, self-criticism, I I, I'm going to say, <laughs> and, and a little bit of, okay, what do we do now? Yeah, no, it's, it's a very good point. I used the word strategic so many times in just describing what it is project managers do. So I think you, you're right. It is a strategic role. Um, I think I remember from the article, there's something you you described about a holistic project manager. That it is a it's a holistic profession that you have both the technology aspect, which is key. You have the leadership element and you also have the business acumen coming together mm -hmm. And that is that is uh, what is required in the role. Um, mm -hmm. So if we if we dig in, starting with the business side, which seems a lot of people are missing, right? So if we dig into the business side of the role of the project manager, and that's you could also refer to that as the strategic strategic side of the project manager. Is are there any examples you can share to tease it out so that we can see that the project management role is really a strategic role? Are there examples you can share? Yeah. It is very clear. So what typically happens, and it's a great example, is that somebody from the business comes uh, out with an idea. They say, mm -hmm. we want to do this in our organization, right? And typically, that entitles more than just thinking about it. You have to do things, right? So that bridge between the thinking and the doing is what we project managers actually do, right? So you, you typically can get as an experienced project manager I, I, I mean, I understand that if you're a, you know, a young project manager, somebody who's just studying, probably you're not able to do that as easy as some people with experience. But if you are a career project manager, you can take an idea, a very high level business case and make that something that is doable and that is achievable by the organization, right? So, so you think in terms that not many people in organizations think, which is like, okay, if I'm going to do this, this is what I need. This is what I need to do. This is the time I'm going to spend. These are the resources that I need. This is the transformation that we have to have, right? So a great example is what is happening in the last 10 years with the whole um, organizational change management practice, which is something that used to be completely separate from our practice in project management. And I'm going to argue that nowadays you cannot have a successful project if you don't have organizational change management anymore, right? So but now we as project managers understand that. And we can go and tell the organization, it's like, well, great idea. I know it's a perfect way of I know, moving forward in our business plans and so on and so forth. But what does it mean from the change management perspective? I can tell you for a fact, based on my own personal experience, that very few people in organizations actually have that holistic view of, oh yeah, this is also something that we have to take care of. Um, I'm gonna say probably 10 years ago, I was involved in a very large program, which had a IT component, roughly $70 million, and they have no money at all for change management, right? We got that, we started working on that, and came back to the, to the board of directors telling them, you know what? This is actually a $150 million program, because you're actually missing 70 million out of the whole change management piece, which is what is going to make this project successful. That is a strategic thinking. That is the kind of thing that we can do and we see that many other people in organizations, many other roles do not see because they're focused on their own, uh, on their own um, area of, of expertise. But because we are, I'm just gonna say generalists, not in the bad term, but actually in a good term, we, we kind of scan everything that is out there and see, hey, we do this, right? So that's that's just a simple example of how we as project managers are strategic within businesses. And, and I can tell you from my own experience that the best executives in organizations are those who are able to see all those kind of things, right? And of course, I mean, you have a, I don't know, a, a CEO or a CIO who's able to look at those things, but but not always. And, and you have to have that support from our, another role, i.e. project program manager, portfolio manager, whatever you want to call it, who can actually see the whole picture. So that's that's my take on, on why and how we are strategic within an organization from the business perspective. Yeah, and I think and that's that's a very good point. And I like what you said there that we're generalists and it's a positive thing. As in, I, I take that because it's good that no challenge, you any challenge that comes, you, you don't you mm -hmm. don't back away from it. It's like a 
It's a challenge in my space, whatever the domain, whatever the specialty, it is still within my domain. And you, you find a way to deal with it. You might need to partner, you might need help, but you find a way to deal with it. Um, mm -hmm. I think something else quite interesting is before this conversation, I actually went to have a look. What does the word strategic actually mean? As what, does it, what does it mean to be strategic? And strategic, being strategic just means identifying a long-term goal, right. plotting a path, or, and a way to execute and achieve that goal. That is literally defining a professional, serious project management role. The fact mm -hmm. that you can identify a long-term goal and you find a way, you find a path to get to that goal. So clearly the project management role is strategic, like you said, it's definitely a strategic role. Yeah, and one of the things that we have changed is that we used to see project management from the technical perspective as we start the project, we plan, execute, close the project and off we go, right? So we're done. Yes, that used to be the case, but now it's not like that. We know and we are aware that the business objectives and the outcomes that you're expecting from the project usually are not achieved during the life cycle of the project. So you have to see two, three, four or five years beyond that, right? And if you're a good project manager, you're actually thinking about those as the real outcomes of the projects and not the traditional and classical deliver on time, on a schedule, on budget, because those things happen, right? If you're a good project manager, but is that it? No, that's not it. It's what, ha what happens after the fact, right? And, and again, that's the kind of thing that we see um, that many others in, 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 in other roles in organizations cannot see. Yeah, no, good point. Um, if we go back to what I'll call the three-legged stool, <laughs> where you have the, mm -hmm. the company of tech technology, you have leadership and the business acumen. So we've talked about the business acumen and strategic components. If we come to the, the leadership element a little bit, so from what you, from the article and from what we're saying here, it looks like the leadership element of project management tends to be missed, tends to be overlooked. Do you have any thoughts as to why that is? Why do we have that situation? Yeah, it's it's a great question because I yeah I agree with you. I mean, it's one of those things that people do not necessarily see us as leaders. And um, when I had the opportunity to I don't know interview for a position or to talk to uh, people about this topic, I always bring back this: you cannot execute a project, you cannot be responsible or accountable for a project if you're not a good leader because you're not the one executing the work. You're not the one kind of making things happen. It's usually a team, right? So how can you, and many times, by the way, that is without formal, uh, uh, formal position with an organization, it's just, okay, yeah, we need somebody to do that. Oh, just call a project manager. So you're kind of, yeah, somebody has to do it. So they bring you. So you, you don't have an actual position or an actual um, uh, what we call power in the organization. You just have to go there, grab a bunch of people, I know, usually from different backgrounds, different functional areas, uh, different organizations sometimes, and make things happen. If you are not a leader, I can assure you with a 100% certainty, that's not happening, right? So my personal view is that the one trait that all project managers have is leadership by default. You can take away everything else, but if you're not a leader, you cannot be a good project manager. So the opposite is true, right? So if you're a good project manager, what it means is that you have to be a good leader. So it is almost something that is embedded in the DNA of our, of our profession is to be leaders, right? And, and I, I, I kind of went back to my career. I've been doing project manager for almost 30 years and and I go back and say, like, I mean, what is what is the re the thing that has taken me where I am right now? And the only answer that I can provide is is leadership, right? Because I mean, how how can you take a project in an organization where nobody knows what's happening except you, and just kind of bring everyone together and okay, let's 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 make it happen, let's do this. Well, if you find a best def a better definition of of leadership, then tell me about it because I I don't know another. <laughs> anything that is better than that right so so i guess that you're pragmatic in the definition or the the use of the term leadership a project manager is a leader by definition and it's the only way that you're going to be successful right so 
So that's my take. So yes, of course, you need to know a little bit of, 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 um, of the models and the techniques of how to be a better leader, because I mean, I have known in my time good and bad project managers from that perspective. Uh, but at the end of the day, regardless of what, what uh, 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 school you subscribe to, you have to be a good leader. That's the only way to become a good project manager and to be a successful project manager. So those two things are one and the same. Yeah, no, I, I totally, I totally agree with you. And I think it was interesting. I think I recall an experience I had when I started writing about project management, change management, and leading change. Um, so I got a lot of feedback. One of the feed, one of the pieces of feedback I got was, "Why don't I just call this leadership?" And people who were reading the content said, "Why do you call it project management? This is leadership." Well, change is all about leadership. You can't mm -hmm. deliver any change without leadership. <laughs> so, but it's very interesting. The more you get into it, you realize successful project management is really successful leadership. Like yeah. you said, yeah. that's what that's what that's what it is. So, and, no, and brilliant. Going, uh, yeah, and going back to my original, uh, my uh, what triggered this the 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 article that I wrote in LinkedIn. That that's one of the things that really shocked me when I heard this 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 uh, this. Um, uh, feedback from the executive search company that yes they mentioned the whole business side but they never talked about leadership right so it's like well but uh, you can be a great uh, strategic thinker you can have a great knowledge on technology but I mean is this person a, a leader and I do remember giving them some pointers in the in the description of of you know, the kind of leadership that we typically have in projects uh, so so I thought that that was something valuable that they have, that they also missed in the in the in the in the process. Why did they do that? I don't know, but that was, as you say, it was missing one leg of the stool. Um, regardless of how you wanted to label that particular position for for this client, right? Yeah, indeed. Um, if we if we change gears a bit, so we've looked at the challenge we have with the project management brand. If we change gears a bit and look at, you know, even if the thought experiment ways of solving the problem, ways of mm. addressing the challenge. Um, so if we start with change practitioners, project managers, a project manager, change practitioner, whether they've been lots of years experience or just coming brand new to the field, what can they do to better improve their brand as project managers? Yeah, um, as um, as I, I was preparing for this conversation, I out of the blue we had a we had an interesting chat with a couple of colleagues from the UK, by the way, who are actually in the field of um, of uh, teaching and being academics on the on the topic of project management. And um, I kind of brought up the topic, and uh, it became a quite interesting discussion. So. One of the one of the people in the conversation had this idea. So okay, so we can do one of two things: either you try you you try to change your view, so what people how people see you, or you try to change the market out there on how they see you. So it's it's one or the other, right? And uh, and I guess all of us were in agreement that it's a little bit of both. Is you have to change yourself in the way that you show yourself to the world as a project manager, but you also have to do things to make sure that the people that are out there understand what's going on. I mean, what is what you do, right? So, so in that regard, so how do you change yourself or what kind of things do you have to do in order to, to make yourself a more a well-branded <laughs> project manager, right? So I think the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're not only, um, you're not, you're not only um, showing up the kind of things that you do on the technical side of project management, right? So let's say in my case, I'm an engineer, right? So yeah, I mean, I can talk about engineering projects a lot, but is that really what I'm bringing out to a potential employer or, uh, or inside my organization if I want to move ahead in my career? And the answer is no, right? So, so you have to really highlight those things that make you special and a successful project manager, even if you don't call that a project manager. So one of the lines of the of, of my of my LinkedIn posting, if you remember, was okay, well maybe we should change our names and call ourselves transformation wizards or I know something like that. Well, I mean that sounds probably funny, but at the end of the day, that's what it is, right? Is to to highlight your 
abilities and, and, and your success on transformation, on change, on, on a strategic, on leadership, the kind of things that we're talking about, right? So that's one side of the equation is, yes, you, you need to show out there that you're more than just you know, throwing gun charts. Now, how do you do that from the people going and looking outside in? That's where more complicated. But one of the things that we found out is that there are quite a few organizations out there that are working on this, right? So become active on those organizations and those groups that really want to change the profile of what project management is, right? So it doesn't really matter if it's PMI, IPMA. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't care what the uh, organization you subscribe to, but but all of that, all of us are really trying to look at the market and say, okay, what is that the market is see in us that can make ourselves more valuable for them from the business side, from the leadership side, and so on and so forth, right? And uh, and don't be shy coming out there and saying, okay, yeah, well, let's start working with them to show you know, frameworks and to show um, um, experiences and, I mean, any other kind of, uh, of um, proposition that can show anyone out there that we are way more than just the technical side of project management, right? So that's not going to happen by itself. That's that's my point, right? So that's not going to happen just because we're talking about these maps and and you know, there's a, 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 a public exposure of the problem. Well, but how do you solve the problem? But actually become involved and making sure that these things are actually known out there. And even if it's just in your organization, I mean, I I don't I don't know how popular they are in in other parts of the world, but here in, in North America, in Canada, we have typically um, something that we call launch and learn. So during the middle of the day, we kind of go and talk to people about that. I made myself kind of a promise many years ago, like I'm just going to talk about these kind of things in Lunch and Learns. So you know, every once in a while, I kind of open up the door and say, like, okay, well, let's talk about this. And uh, I know the pandemic was actually a great way for us to extend our reach because before it used to be like physically who was in the office, but now you can open up this to whoever is out there. And in my current position, for example, I had the ability to go out and talk to people about this, right? And one of my favorite topics is this, like, okay, well, if you're a project manager, this is the kind of things that you do, this is the kind you understand. And sometimes it's try to bring people into the, the, the profession, but most of the time it's really trying to tell them like, okay, well, you find a project manager, yeah, you're finding a leader, you're finding a, a person who of, of, has business strategic thinking and so on and so forth. So. So those are kind of the two things that we should be doing in order to change the way that people see us and even how we see ourselves um, uh, in this role. No, that's really good. And I like the way you covered both sides there. So there's a the personal branding. What can you do to yourself as an individual? How do you better position yourself? Even if you're just training yourself, getting better experiences, and bringing out more of what you're doing that is more leadership, more about the business that when you bring it out, you expose it. And the fact that you just become active in the industry, speak out, almost educating the market. That mm -hmm. this, is, this, is, this is what we do. So have a, a consultant and partner mindset. So this is what we're going into. This is my job. So your job is just to educate the people you're working with or working for because a lot of times they actually don't understand the nuts and bolts of what you're bringing out. It's not just a technical role. And from the way you've described it, I think I like the, your, your take on it possibly some of the challenges we have in the project management world is we are dealing with the legacy of the technical background mm -hmm. from which project management has emerged because a lot of the change that we have around is digital transformation so which is from the technology world so the project management profession seems to be having a little bit of that legacy with there and it's not just technology it's not just transformation like you say it's business mm -hmm. outcomes that's the real the real value of a, of a professional project manager. Um, right. If we also look at the, the other lens as well, so that's, the, that's what individual practitioners can do. But what of leaders? They're not necessarily project managers, but leaders of businesses, leaders of organizations, leaders of charities. They, they have project managers in their organizations. What could they do to better position the project management profession, at least within the organization, better? 
Yeah, well, we struggle with that for forever. <laughs> so I, I wish I had a magic wand, then I will be a wizard. Um, but but it's a great question because I think that little by little, step by step, people are understanding that project management is important, right? So that accidental project manager perspective but that we used to have in the past. So I, I teach project management and I, I tell my students a joke. It's like, who is the project manager? Well, the last person in the last uh, desk that nobody thinks about because that person is not going to make any noise. That person is the project manager. That's how it used to be, right? So it, it was like, okay, well, nobody else does that. So try to find someone who's a project manager. I think that's gone, uh, but but we're still in the phase where if you look at a specific domain, as you say, technology, for example, people say, oh yeah, we need somebody who has a computer science background or somebody who's in the you know, software development because, oh yeah, this is an IT project. And, and I think that's fundamentally wrong. Because again, we are really talking about somebody who has skills, abilities, capabilities that are not necessarily linked to the specific domain where the project is being involved. I have to tell you, again, I'm an engineer, but the most interesting projects that I have done in my career have been done have, have been those who are not in my domain. So things in the business transformation, uh, things I, I I, I went for four years to work for a, a, a research outfit that was doing oceanographic and marine biology projects, which have nothing to do with the stuff that I've done in my life. But it was so interesting because I was applying what I knew about project management and, and strategic and the leadership role and things like that. And I was learning something new. Great, right? So that's the kind of thinking that the leaders have to have. In, in the context of where do I position or how do I treat project managers in my organization, right? So think of them as the, yes, the doers, but also the people that can, as you say before, holistically look at a problem and, and really be able to pull resources from here and there, right? And and it's, I mean, it's, a, it's something that even in the, in the traditional academic world, it's difficult to find a model or a framework in an organization where you can, slot project managers, right? Like, okay, yeah, there has to be a functional group or, or they're, they're in a more uh, matrix type of style organization. I think that doesn't really matter. It's just like, where do you need that person to be in order to be successful and to deliver what you need, what, what is needed for the organization? And if you're a true leader, you should be able to see that, right? So, so yeah. I'm going to say stop labeling people because, oh, you're a project manager, so you're part of this I don't know, functional group. No, I mean, where do you need that person, right? And, and as, as you start growing the organization and you become, for example, more like a program manager, it's way more likely that you're going to be in a, in a position where you are actually um, influencing the whole organization, right? And obviously, if you become a portfolio manager, for example, it's even more important to be higher up in the in the hierarchy if you want to call it like that um uh really making a difference for the whole organization right so so i think that's the mindset that leaders have to have is like why do i need this person called project manager or program manager portfolio manager and just make sure that you put that person in a position where they can be successful uh supporting the organization in the in the kind of project that they're running brilliant i think that's very good advice and Hopefully we get more leaders beginning to think that way, address things that way. Um, I think while you were speaking, uh, there's an experience, it's a couple of years ago now that came to mind where, so I, I was in this organization, Stick White Junior, and I was invited to like a town hall where the business leaders were given like a strategy update. And the first item was a project that I was working on. The second item was a project that I knew my colleagues were working on. The third item was another project. So this is, you go to, you know, big town hall strategy update. What is the strategy update? It's typically a list of outcomes expected mm. from projects. That shows how critical project managers are, even though when you're defining the roles, a lot of times leaders are missing it, but it's key to the strategy. It's key to what the business is trying to achieve. So mm. you, you, are, you are spot on. It is fundamentally tied and strategic and central to what's required for any successful business. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, 
I think ju just in, in closing, I think this has been brilliant. I think you touched on a few interesting projects you worked on because so you, you so it'd be good to know a little bit more about you. You know, what are you doing right now? Any other interesting projects you're working on right now? And I think also for the benefit of our audience who would have benefited a lot from what you've had to share, how can people reach you? Yeah, sure. So right now my role is I am the executive director for uh, program uh, project and program management for uh, one ministry in the government of the province of British Columbia in Canada. And surprise, surprise, it's a very strategic role <laughs> because we oversee in this group um, what we call the investments in connectivity. So we, the province doesn't actually uh, execute connectivity projects, but we fund projects from partners who mostly go out to rural and, uh, and underserved communities and provide them with pretty good internet services. Um, which, by the way, in the last two years, the interest has exploded, right? So, okay. so I oversee some of those initiatives from the project management perspective, and I help with the risk management of the program. Uh, this is a 800 million Canadian dollar program, so it's not a small program at all. And we have a lot of people working on this, right? So, so we have different people in different roles, but all of us overseeing the, the success of the program. And um, and that for me is is the kind of um, of expertise that you can bring to the table with an, over thirty years of experience in project management, and um, and that's yeah that's that's what I expect people to go to. Yeah, I mean those positions where where they can where they can actually make a difference. And and in my case, I know for a fact that this is making a difference in the quality of life of uh, people in the province. So so yeah, that that fulfills all my check all my boxes as to the kind of things that I will, that I will like to do um, for the rest of my career. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how, and, and how, how can the, people cut? Yes. yes I can sorry, reach you. The last part of the question. So yeah, my profile is in LinkedIn, so you can find me. It's I-V-A-N-R-I-N-C-O-N, Ivan Rincon. And um, yeah, I know I'm, I'm very happy to connect with people out there that, uh, has these same ideas, and I belong to a few groups that discuss this kind of thing. So, so it's a yeah, it's a great experience to to um, I know make 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 uh, friends in the project management community and outside the project management community who are interested in these topics. Perfect. So I think what I'll do is if you're listening to this on audio, the um, link to Ivan's profile will be in the description, uh, and if you watch this on YouTube, it will be in the description section as well. Um, Ivan has been really, really good speaking. I've learned a lot from our conversation and definitely be in touch and speak more about this. Thank you so much. Thank, for you, very thank much. you very much. No, thank you, Bob, for this opportunity. And uh, yeah, I'll appreciate your, your, uh, your time. Would you like to learn more about the strategic role of project managers? Would you like to join in the conversation on how to strategically position the role of project managers? Connect with a community of like-minded leaders on our website, thechangelead.com. When you visit the site, click join to join the community. Check out the show notes for details on how you can contact today's guest, Ivan. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, review and subscribe. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great week and see you next time.